Centuries ago, four prison ships from Earth veered off course and journeyed deep into the remote Caprulu sector. There, they crash-landed on the planets of Tarsonis, Moria, and Umoja. Cut off from Earth, the survivors established colonies throughout the sector. The largest, Tarsonis, was founded by a powerful yet increasingly oppressive government, called the Confederacy. Spurred by the terrible acts of this government, Arcturus Mengsk formed the Sons of Korhal. This rebel army fought to overthrow the Confederacy and liberate the Kuprunu sector. Even as Mengsk and his resistance fighters fought to overthrow the corrupt Confederacy, a much greater threat confronted the Terrans. Without warning, massive alien warships appeared and surrounded the Confederate planet of Chalsara. Calling themselves Protoss, the aliens incinerated the planet's surface and then mysteriously withdrew. The planet had been infested by another type of alien, the Zerg. These monstrous creatures threatened to overwhelm Terran space, and the Protoss sought to eradicate them before they spread. The Zerg had already reached the neighboring planet, Marsara and Marshal Jim Raynor fought to save the terrified colonists as the Confederate government abandoned them to the alien menace. The Sons of Korhal intervened, saving thousands of lives from the rampaging Zerg and enigmatic Protoss. Disgusted by the Confederacy, Raynor joined the rebels and met Sarah Kerrigan. Kerrigan was a former Confederate ghost operative, and she shared Raynor's desire for a liberated Kukulu sector. They grew close as the battle with the Confederacy escalated. But Mengsk went too far in his hatred and ambition. He ordered devices placed on the Confederate capital world of Tarsonis to lure the Zerg and annihilate the population. The Protoss, led by Executor Tassadar, decided to help the Terrans defeat the Zerg instead of purging the planet of life. Mengsk sent Kerrigan to stop Tassadar's interference. With Kerrigan battling the Protoss, the Zerg overwhelmed Tarsonis and decimated the population. Having achieved his goals, Mengsk left the planet and abandoned Kerrigan to the aliens. Sickened by Mengsk's treachery, Raynor quit the Sons of Korhal. He raced to the planet's surface to save Kerrigan, but was too late. No trace of her remained. Having destroyed the Confederacy, Manx crowned himself Emperor of the newly formed Terran Dominion, a government that would prove to be just as corrupt as its predecessor. Marshal Jim Raynor vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Manx for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Kaprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger, and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ire was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. 
old prejudices were set aside, the Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Manx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of Dark Forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions, and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ire. But such unity is only a dream for Jim Raynor. Menx still rules, and Raynor's small rebellion has counted for nothing against the Dominion's propaganda machine. Perhaps it is time for a new strategy. <laughs>